I'm CM Coleman, welcome to my home. Today our cocktail is Bloody Mary 2. And this cocktail is going to be made with our vodkas that we made. We have our sun-dried tomato and our ancho chili. This is a really fun Bloody Mary and it's really spicy and different. So I'm going to take my sun-dried tomato and use one shot of sun-dried tomato in a shaker with ice. That's sun-dried tomato vodka. Then, one shot of ancho chili vodka in the same shaker. Then a splash of lemon juice, a splash of lime juice, and a little bit of horseradish, prepared horseradish. I'm going to fill the rest of that up with Bloody Mary mix. Now you can make your own Bloody Mary mix. If you click on that link up there, it'll show you how to make your own Bloody Mary mix, or you can buy it, it's up to you. You do have to make your own vodkas. These vodkas are easy to make. Click up on the links and they will show you how to make the vodkas. So, so simple. Now I'm going to put it into the shaker, put the lid on, give it a good shake. Here's a tip. When you start feeling condens, start seeing condensation and start feeling it getting really cold, you know that it's ready. All right, I have a glass with ice in it. I'm going to pour my Bloody Mary into there. Now this one, I'm just going to garnish with a celery sprig. Let's take a taste. This has a much richer and deeper flavor than your normal Bloody Mary. There's more of a tomato taste to it and it's spicy and it really has that deep, complex taste to it. I think you'll really like this one and it's worth making the vodkas for it. Give it a try. Don't forget to subscribe. Every Monday through Friday I do something different. You'll have to take a look. Don't forget to check out the playlist which will take you to the latest videos that I've done for the last two weeks. And give me some comments. Tell me what you'd like to see me make or if you've made this, let me know how it turned out. Don't forget, you can send me pictures on Twitter or send them to me any way you can. It'd be great to see how yours turned out. And as always, remember, running your house doesn't have to be a full-time job. Turn it into a hobby and have some fun.